Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. About a year, year and a half ago, I did a uh, video on creating joints and applying uh, a few minor uh, limits. So uh, I, I often keep getting questions about applying some limits. Uh, for that video that I just mentioned, I'll leave that shortcut down in the comments below. But um, at least to address, uh, I like to address maybe one or two instances of how to set limits. So um, on the one that I have on the screen, just a simple uh, door hinge, uh, I have, you can see that I, uh, there's nothing set here, but I do have uh, a joint created. And uh, let me turn those on over here in the browser. Uh, you'll see that I have a Revolut joint. All right. And this is the one I want to create a limit where this hinge can only go 90 degrees from here to uh, straight up. So um, that's that's the limit I want to apply. So I have I'm going to choose the joint, and that's the revolute that I have right here. I'm just going to hit this down arrow, and uh, this window is going to come up. All right, and uh, it knows now I can apply a couple different ones in here. Now I could certainly uh, apply rotate um, now the only thing I have to do here is I've got to choose uh, what my minimum maximum is going to be so I'll select and you'll see right away they're both going to come in I have a min and a max so now this is going to be a little bit of a test so yes I want to start at zero and I'll say you know what, I just want to go 90 degrees and right away you're going to see that my uh, my joint flips down but it's going the wrong direction. I, I gotta make sure that the minimum is the lowest number and right now uh, now it is but if I want this to go 90 up it's probably gonna have to be a minus 90 and minus 90 is going to be less than zero so let me change this to zero and let me try uh, again I, I, I wouldn't be able to put 90 in here because it's gonna look at it like it's the maximum it's greater than a zero so a negative 90 is certainly less than zero so let me put that in and there that is what I'm looking for I have it uh, uh, right up at 90 degrees and I can animate this just to test it it's going down to zero degrees coming up to 90 and that looks exactly the way the operation that I'm looking for so let me say okay and uh, that allows me to click on here and I can that's what I want. I want it to go from zero horizontal to straight up 90 degrees. All right. So that's a simple. And like I said before, some of the more difficult thing is to figure out where the start and stop is. What's the mi what's the the minus? What's the max? The min and max. So that that could be some of your first challenge. Uh, the other one I'm going to go on to here is uh, hydraulic cylinder. Some of you've been with me. You may have seen this from time to time. And uh, you'll see right away I'm gonna pull this out and you'll see that I do not have any joints on uh, the piston itself so let me uh, turn off this translucent uh, cylinder uh, I'm just gonna go over here in the browser and just turn that visibility off and I'm gonna apply a joint to this uh, and this one and this is the one that also can be either cylindrical or a slider now cylindrical uh, yes it will go in and out but it also turn and I, I just don't need it to turn I don't care that it turns or not so um, I only want a, a slider so I just want it to slide in and out so let me apply a joint yes I'll capture the position and you'll see right away you know if I do a revolute it's going to ask me for what's this um, the this will actually be the Z direction but it's also going to rotate and th that's not really what I'm looking for so let me let me choose the slider and I'm going to select this component alright and let me choose you're going to see the coin uh, that's what I like to call the little uh, origins uh, it's already down there uh, it's a little bit hard to see but it's it's down inside of this piston head and I'm going to choose that one and I am going to choose the back of this piston so I'm going to choose that as my other and you're going to see that I get a little bit of an animation and that looks like pretty much what I'm, I'm looking for so 
I'll just show you that again. It's so that's the way. Yes, I think I'm gonna. I'll accept that, and I'm going to say OK. Now you'll see the rest of the model catches up. I do have a rigid constraint in here, but once I grab this, you're going to see that. Well, that's not exactly what I want. I want, I want it to go this way, but I want to apply a limit. So let's go up. I'm going to turn my joints on and up here in the browser and I can open that up and there's this new slider uh, joint that I just applied so you're gonna see um, it's kinda hard to see on here I'm gonna try some limits and you're gonna see that here's the origin that I picked and these are the two coins that I picked and let me say a minimum so a minimum would be zero that would be zero from this coin to that one and that that one I'll accept and then it's gonna ask for a maximum and this is the one that I'm going to have to probably start playing around with and maybe figure out what uh, what it's going to be. Now, I, I just say I forget what the stroke is, but uh, let me start off with, um, I don't know, I'll just say uh, 18 inches. And you can see where it shot out, and that's not what I'm looking for. So, again, I'm going to have to go in the negative direction. And just like the other one, I cannot put negative 18 in here. All right, it's gonna because negative 18 is less than zero, so it automatically makes my minimum negative 18. So let's go down and put the maximum at zero. And let me just animate that and see. But you can see already that it's uh, it's coming shy of this back uh, head. So that's not exactly what I'm looking for, but I'll say okay. And let's take a look. That looks I'll, that's acceptable. You can see it's it's flat up against that boss in there but if I take it the other direction you're gonna see that I still have some space in there so let me let me see if I can measure that I'm gonna say from there to there and it's telling me two inches alright so let me change my um, my limit I'll open this up and instead of negative 18 how about if I say negative 20 and that looks like it's probably going to be I'll say OK and it's going to go down to zero and all the way up and that's probably what I'm looking for now I can also put a um, one thing I don't really talk about too much in here is you see this little rest button in here and that just means well where is it going to be when I let go of it I can stop it so uh, I don't know what negative 18 is. I'm going to say maybe not 0 and not 20. Let's just say maybe negative 8. All right, and I'll say OK. So what that's going to mean, it's, it means I, I can go to my minimum, my maximum, but as soon as I let go of my mouse button, the rest is going to be uh, where it's always going to end up. So if you like it in a certain if you like to have it in a certain position when you're not trying to manipulate it that's what um, that's what the rest is going to do all right so there you have it uh, two quick easy ways to set some limits um, a slider and a revolute so these are just nice you know a couple of ways to maybe get used to setting the limits um, hope you uh, Hope you picked up a little tidbit here and help you in your work. Um, so let me know uh, what you think. Uh, put a comment down below and um, let me know if this is something you like. And if you have any suggestions uh, on things that you would really like to see in the future, again, comment down below. Let me know what, you, uh, what you'd like me to present. All right. So thank you very much for joining me. Again, my name is Dave Briner from Center Just Technologies. Uh, have yourself a great day.